Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about solve quadratic equations by using the quadratic formula. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. So if you haven't seen one of my earlier videos back in my younger days, I have a video on the quadratic formula song, so go check that out. It's up there on YouTube. Uh, it's a nice little catchy song to remember it. But what is the quadratic formula? Written in standard, def, or standard form, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Any quadratic equation can be solved using the quadratic formula, and this is why it's so useful. x equals a negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, where a, b, and c are real numbers, and a is not equal to zero. Okay? So let's go write that out here so we just have it. x equals a negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Don't forget that part. This is something you should really memorize. Okay? So let's go with an example here, 9, and we'll solve this using the quadratic formula. So x squared plus 5x plus 1 equals 0. So what's our a value? a value is 1, b value 5, and c value is a positive 1 again. So now it's just a plug and play with the quadratic formula. x equals a negative b, so we have a negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 5 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 1, all over 2 times 1. So now we just need to simplify this. All right. Negative 5 just out front, plus or minus the square root here. 5 squared is 25. 4 times 1 times 1, minus 4, all over 2, right? 2 times 1 is 2. 25 minus 4 is 21, over 2, and that's it. That's really our answer. You can write it separate if you want, but sometimes it is easier to see it like this. And so x is just equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 21 divided by all of it by 2. We've solved using the quadratic formula wasn't too bad. Um, sometimes, yes, other ways you can solve quadratic equations are is easier without using quadratic formula, but this like works in all cases, and it's definitely one of my favorite staples to use. So, number 10, let's do another practice problem here. x squared plus x plus 2 equals 0. All right, and we want to solve this one again using the quadratic formula. Okay, so x, or a value, excuse me, I'm going to find the a, b, and c value. And as you get practice or are better with this, you won't have to write this out every time. A lot of times, man, typos here. A lot of times I go right in just the quadratic formula. Okay? So I don't really write this out. I start plugging them in. But in the beginning, make sure, you know, let's not make any mistakes here. So x equals a negative b. So a negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared minus 4 a 1 c is 2. All over 2 times 1. Okay? And I usually like to put parentheses on the values I'm substituting in. Really helps me see um, or make sure I don't forget anything. Okay? So we have x equals a negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 2, 8 all over 2. Okay? Well, hopefully you're seeing something that's a little off here. x equals a negative 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus 8 is a negative 7, uh-oh, divided by 2. Well, now we have to use our rules of imaginary numbers that we know. Square root of negative 7 is the same thing, so minus 1 plus or minus i times the square root of 7, right, over 2. So, we can write this out as two values here x equals a negative 1 plus i square root of 7 over 2 and negative 1 minus i square root of 7 over 2. Now notice, all right, so we have two values here, okay, our solutions here. And what's nice about the quadratic formula is that you will get that, um, it really helps you when you have i's and it still works. So we have imaginary numbers, you can still do it and you find that there. Okay, but that leads us to our next topic, so let me erase this and we'll keep on going.
Okay, so now we're going to talk about what is called the discriminant. Okay, and this is there with quadratic equations. So definition here, the, the discriminant. For ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are real numbers, the discriminant is the expression under the radical in the quadratic formula, b squared minus 4ac. It tells us whether the solutions are real numbers or complex and how many solutions of each type there will be. So we can look at this table here. If the value of the discriminant is b squared minus 4ac equals zero, our result is that we have one rational solution, and it's a double solution. If b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero, we have a perfect square, and we have two rational solutions. If b squared minus 4ac is not greater than zero, we uh, do not have a perfect square. We have two rational solutions. And if b squared minus 4ac is less than zero, we have two complex solutions. Okay, so what we want to do here is find the discriminant of a few of these quadratic equations, number 11. All right, so a, x squared plus 4x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, so what about our solutions here? Okay, what do we know? 4, uh, b squared minus 4ac, that's what we're looking at, b squared minus 4ac. Well, b is 4, so b squared minus 4, a is 1, c is 4, that 4. What does that equal? Might equal to 0. What that tells us is we have one rational double solution. Okay? Number 2, or part b, 8x squared. And we're not solving all these, we're just finding the discriminant, seeing how many solutions we need. 4x plus 3 equals 0. Again, b squared minus 4ac, so we have 14 squared minus 4, 8 is a, c is 3, and that comes out to be 100. 100 is a perfect square, so there'll be two rational solutions. Okay? C, we have 3x squared minus 5x minus 2 equal to 0. <clears throat> And what we want to do here now, for, uh, b squared minus 4ac, so b squared, negative 5 squared, minus 4 times 3 times c, negative 2, equals 0, uh, not equals 0, what does that equal? Okay, that equals 49. 49 is a perfect square, so there'll be two rational solutions. All right, 49 is perfect square, two rational solutions. D, 3x squared minus 10x plus 15 equals 0. Again, we have negative 10x, or 10 squared, minus 4a, which is 3, and c is 15. That equals negative 80. So what does that tell us? There will be two complex solutions. Okay? So that would tell us we have two complex solutions. So that's the discriminant there. Um, again, for each one of these, I didn't solve it all the way. I just found the discriminant, and that allowed us to really um, see how many solutions, what type of solutions they will be. Okay. Now, lastly, here we talk about um, quickly. We'll talk about the uh, just Pythagorean theorem. All right, a little brief example of that here. So, Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem here is just a squared plus b squared equals c squared. That's why we have a right triangle, okay? Right triangle, the lengths are a, b, and c, c being the hypotenuse. And we can use Pythagorean theorem to find a missing value. So number 12 here tells us we have this right triangle. All right, a is missing. We have 4 and 12. What is the a value? So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Well, a we don't know, so a squared plus b squared, so that's 4 squared equals c squared, 12 squared. And you can see this kind of ties in, kind of similar to what we're doing, but 4 squared is uh, 16, 12 squared is 144, subtract 16 on both sides, 
we have a squared equals 144 minus 16, which is 128. Square root both sides, and notice here I'm not doing plus or minus because we are not going to have a negative distance here. So a equals square root of 128, which is 8 square root 2. So that's a quick little example here, and I'm using the Pythagorean theorem. Uh, hopefully you've probably seen it before, to be honest, uh, if you're watching this video here, but it's there for you if you need it. All right. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com